So, about the calling card. How exactly do we want to do this? Welcome back to Persona 5 Strikers. It's time for the big showdown with Akira Kanoe. And also Morgana is channeling Matt Mercer. Hmm, we need a place where we know Kanoe will see it. What about sending it to his company? The police will probably be crawling all over the place. It's too dangerous. After all that stuff he said about us on TV, I'd really like to stick it to him good. Give him something he'll remember. Yep, it's time for another Phantom Thieves broadcast! We could always try pulling a repeat of Shibuya. Huh? Where'd Gramps go? He said he had something to take care of. He's probably with Akane. Let's just leave them be for now. Alright, well, maybe we save the calling card planning for tomorrow then. How come? I mean, you know, because Zenkichi's part of the team now, isn't he? I feel like he'd be missing out if he wasn't here for his first calling card. Plus, he's kinda got a lot invested in this after everything that happened to Akane. That's true. All signs point to Kanoe being the one who turned her into a monarch. Zenkichi's definitely got a bone to pick with him. Alright, we'll wait to bring Zenkichi in on the plan. Alright, we'll figure out the calling card tomorrow. It's been one intense fight after another, so let's get some rest and get back to it bright and early. Hey, is it just me, or has Yusuke not said a word since we got back? <sighs> wow, out cold and still standing. Dude's got all sorts of weird talents. Commissioner Kaburagi? You look better than I thought you would. Mm. How'd it feel being on the other side of an interrogation for once? <laughs> I managed to pull through. Guess I'm getting a little old for this, huh? More importantly, though, I heard something interesting from the Nijima lawyer. She told me the reason she was able to get me out was because she had help from a certain someone. I haven't a clue what you're talking about. Anyhow. Do you have business with me? Commissioner, I'd like you to help me. I'm going to arrest Awada. He's been behind the scenes with each and every change of heart case. Akira Konoe is the one who commits the crimes, while Awada sits back and capitalizes on them. They plan to cover up the truth by putting all the blame on the Phantom Thieves. I think they've even changed the hearts of some of us on the Force. And I'm talking pretty high up the chain of command. Hmm. If we don't act now, we'll never be able to stop them. Please, Commissioner. I can't do this without you. Do you have any evidence to bring Awada in? I'm on the verge of getting Konoe to confess. If we do that, we can expose all of Awada's crimes. You really think Konoe will talk? He'll crack. I know he will. How can you be so sure? Are you planning to use the Phantom Thieves to change his heart? Sorry, but... I just can't tell you. Commissioner Kaburagi, do you remember what you said to me back when Aoi died? You told me you would cleanse this whole rotten organization someday, and that I just had to wait for the right time. That time is now. Please, I need your help. <laughs> You've changed, Hasegawa. Your little stunt cost me my chance at senior commissioner. Even my current title is in a state of uncertainty. I need to do something to restore my credibility. If I wanted to, I could serve all of you up to Awada on a silver platter, and he'd owe me everything for it. Did that ever occur to you? <laughs> Your sense of justice would never allow it. <laughs> my, my. You have three days. If you say you can do it, then by all means, make it happen. Thank you, ma'am. And I'll give back your badge as well. Uh, are you sure? Fair warning. If you screw this up, I'll be covering my own safety above all else. No second chances. Do you hear me? I won't forget this, Commissioner. Shall I follow him, ma'am? Forget it. He'll just throw you off. Actually, 
I have a more pressing task for you. I want you to find out everything you can about the Commissioner General. The Commissioner General, ma'am? I'm not one to pull punches. Never have been, never will be. Uh, Kabaraki's a very interesting character. So, you're sure the Phantom Thieves have been dealt with, yes? I almost wonder how things would go if Makoto ever got to talk to her. But now we're focusing on, um, th th these people. Yes, they're being held in the jail as we speak. I've got Emma keeping an eye on them. Well done, Mr. Kanoe. There really is nothing that can stand up to you in that AI of yours. Truly, chat GPT makes us unstoppable. Please, none of this would have been possible without your assistance, sir. Emma will show us the way forward. Um, I may be getting a little ahead of myself, but what say we have a celebration of sorts? I'll go ahead and reserve us someplace nice. I think you're in for a real treat. <laughs> Looking forward to it. Till then. Call ended. Filth. Flapping those fat jowls of his. Roaches like him are the very reason why this world needs someone to enact justice. Yeah, it looks like Kanoe is going full, there will be no salvation for you or your kind on this guy. You are absolutely right, Akira. We'll have to hurry with making Operation Oraculi a reality. More importantly, how are things in the Kyoto Jail? No issues to report. The Phantom Thieves are still under confinement. Very well. And, uh... Just so we're clear, there's no way to change their hearts, is that correct? That is correct, Akira. It is impossible. Yeah, because they all have personas. Well, if you say so, it must be. We'll just have to let them rot, won't we? Now, to wrap this up. At this point, nothing can stand in my way. I'll take over this entire country. No, the whole world. And yes, you say things like that, and yet you still think you're the hero. But that was interesting there what Emma said. Either Emma is not entirely all-knowing. So, I heard you guys were waiting for me to get back. Or, potentially more interesting, Emma may have just lied. You guys are surprisingly particular, you know? It's the first calling card we're sending out since you joined. Figured you'd want to be there for it. Well, it's not like I haven't helped out with one already. It doesn't seem like that big a deal. That's why we have a little proposal for you. Why don't you write this one, Sunkichi san? But me? But I've never written one before. Well, you also never touched an electrocuting trauma door before, and you did great there. Yes, we should all be more open to new experiences. All right, that takes care of the calling card. Now we just gotta figure out how to send it. Hey, I didn't agree to anything. He's so comfortable badmouthing us on TV. Maybe it's time we gave him a taste of his own medicine. Copy the enemy's strats? Hmm. How about an online broadcast? Hmm. We need more impact. Could we just hand deliver it, maybe? If we want to get arrested, yeah. What do you think? They're all things I feel we've done before. Not sensing a clear winner here. And they do say never recycle your schemes. Hey guys, check it out. Is that a blimp? Oh, you don't see them very often nowadays. That's the Regenbogen. It's the only airship in Japan that's currently in service. It seems it's being used to advertise Emma for Medis at the moment. For Medis? Apparently, it circles Osaka's airspace every day. Uh, wow, uh, I can only imagine how much of Kanoe's budget went into that. Probably only a tiny fraction of how much he has. Hmm, every day? You thinking what I'm thinking? I think Zenkichi also had an exclamation mark above his head, which means he also knows what they're implying. <laughs> Way ahead of you. Alright! 
This will most likely be the last calling card we ever send. Well, here's the thing. I was going to say, oh yeah, until the next spin-off, and then I realized the next spin-off did happen, but it was set before Strikers in the timeline. So, yeah. Maybe this statement will hold true. We'll see if there's ever a Persona 5 Arena. And so... In terms of our party here... <laughs> Obviously, we are, we have no other choice but uh, Ryuji, Makoto, and Zenkichi. Zenkichi has to be here for this fight. Now, there are technically a few outstanding requests, but I'm going to save those until after the boss fight. Um, really, all we'd be gaining is level 3 lockpicking, which we could use to get some chests, but we'll be doing that in cleanup. And uh, let's see if I can fuse anything good. I was kind of thinking of Thor, but Raja like Naga is not a terrible idea. Because Zeo in Elect Boost is very useful. I absolutely I register Hecaton Kairas. Now, admittedly, Dazzler is not great for this fight, begin. because Kanoe is one of the few bosses in this game that is immune to Dizzy. One of the very few, and I know that from speedruns, because speedruns love to spam Dizzy for everything. But at least it'll give me more Dizzy Boost Dizzy for later on. Not too attached to Mithras or Valkyrie, though, so Fortuna's an option. I suppose Mafrela for another weakness of the boss. Now, let us begin. In terms of elemental affinities, you don't really need a whole lot here, since this boss's attacks are mostly almighty. Okay, I do enough to get back Queen Mob if I make Kurama Tengu. Be born anew. And you have Concentrate and Freydine, so I'm definitely getting a lot of uh, anti Akira setups here. You may take it with and I'll get you back. I'll eventually want Hecaton back as well. You okay. And you can take Bufudine. What? Get you to okay. Maziodine. Okay. You gain Umrita Shower and. Uh, oh, Dekunda and Dekaja, interesting. Okay. You get Umrita Drop and Evade Elect, okay. Oh, you get Vacuum Wave though. Probably gonna want to go for that. That's like the first severe skill that I've seen. And that'll be all. Oh, wow, that's a unique line, cool. But yes, after cooking and fusion preparation, it's time to send the yes. calling card. We ask for a Gramps tier calling card and he shall deliver. Remember, it needs to make him agitated enough to uh, have the desires materialize. Some kind of card? Wait, that's. Huh? Phantom Thieves? Is that actually real? Testing! One, two, one, two! Okay, looks like we're live! So, I just talk into this? You're not, man! Just say it! Uh, okay. <clears throat> Are you listening, Kanoe? Toying with innocent lives, slandering us. You've been busy, but so have we. Now it's payback time. Ready or not, here we come! To the villain who thinks he's a hero, Akira Kanoe. You stole the desires of countless people. And tonight, we're baking them, uh, I mean taking them. Oh, you had one line! I meant to say that, baking them. You know, like an oven. It's a threat. And so he had one job. Phantom Thieves. Impossible. I love how the instrumental "You Are Stronger" is still continuing for this scene. To the criminal tyrant masquerading as a hero, Sir Akira Kanoe. All subsequent references will henceforth be shortened to Party A. <laughs> Party A has wronged multiple innocents by flaunting a false sense of justice and shifting the blame for the murder of one of his employees. On top of that, Party A is also guilty of wrongfully imprisoning a group of minors 
Therefore, in addition to putting out a formal warrant of arrest for Party A's crimes, tonight the Phantom Thieves will commit some larceny of their own and take back every desire you've stolen? Is this some kind of joke? Emma, what the hell is going on? I, I thought we'd trapped them in the jail. Unable to answer. Please ask a different question. Just don't give me that, Emma! I'm your master! Now answer me, dammit! Unable to answer. Please ask a different question. Unable to answer. God damn it! You think you could change my heart? Wretched little urchins! I won't be defeated so easily. Taking back the desires? You think you can steal from me? Fools! I am the very hero these people have been praying for. The Phantom Thieves are the evil that stands in the way of that. Come then. Let's see who changes who. That shadow looks amazing in just pure darkness. Kanoe's <laughs> probably losing it right about now. Well, yeah, he just yeeted his own phone across the room. Dispensing the calling cards from the enemy's own airship. What a truly impeccable strategy. Once again, I question how they're able to get all of these printed in such a short span of time. How much you want to bet the police are already all over that thing? Aww, won't it be sad when they find out we were broadcasting from a remote location? Nice job, Mona and Zenkichi. Sheesh. That was some contraption you put together. You did good too, Sophia. All I did was search the web for a blueprint we could use. <laughs> you probably found it on Tanaka's dark web. Was it okay for us to leave it on the airship, though? Nah, I built it using a bunch of junk parts you can find just about anywhere. We're in the clear. Word has certainly reached Kanoe by now. Yeah, but that calling card. You couldn't have added a little more spice there, Gramps? To the criminal tyrant masquerading as a hero, Sir Akira Kanoe. All subsequent references will henceforth be shortened to Party A. Party A has wronged multiple innocents by flaunting a false sense of justice and... Party A? It's an arrest warrant. Is there a problem? <laughs> it's supposed to be a calling card. What the hell is this Party A crap? Oh, shut up. Real big talk come from the guy who screwed up his line. What? Look, <laughs> I told you, I didn't screw up. I, so, I, I, just, I just love the chemistry this group has in this game. Whatever. If things go well, hopefully this will be the last one. The last calling card. Huh. Kinda sad when you think about it. Well, I mean, you also got sad when you thought about that back in Royal, and then you still got more spin-offs, so I wouldn't completely count it out. Hey, this fight's just getting started. Alright, here we go. Time for the big finish. Still not quite enough for uh, an extra bond level up. But yeah, I like that it mentions um, shifting the blame for the murder of one of his employees. Um, well, I mean, so uh, it's 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 not so much murder. We we know do know it was a suicide, but it was a kind of enforced suicide by his actions. So I guess maybe it counts as some form of murder, maybe. But like, I'm pretty sure that was referring to the um, uh, the. Oh wait, maybe it was referring to um. The stuff that happened with Owada, maybe he was involved in shifting the blame for that? But but I, I feel like it was also to do with the Oni Okinawa jail. But also, yes, wrongfully imprisoning a group of miners. That would definitely be us in in uh Akane's jail. Everybody ready? So this is the final battle. Let's change Kanoe's heart and put an end to this. And we've got the lyrical version of Life Will Change again. Yeah, let's give it everything we've got. It's well no, not punishment time. So they tell you that um, that this is the final battle. The thing is, though, I love the way the chain looks there, actually. Um, the thing is, though, <laughs> we have side quests that we haven't finished yet, and the game has not warned us that they're about to expire. So, clearly, this is not the end. Kanoe is not the final boss. But, it is still a very big, major fight. It's funny how there's still a security shadow there. So, we can fight that for experience if we want to. Yeah, wow, that is a long chain. Oh boy, this is going to be, like, to actually climbing that would be terrifying. But it happens via the magic of off-screen cuts. Sorry to 
keep you waiting, you goateed prick. <laughs> well, that's a fight intro. We are here to straighten out that crooked heart of yours. We're taking them, not baking them. So you've come. So one interesting thing people have pointed out about Shadow Kanoe is that uh, he looks exactly the same as his real world self. Whereas many of the earlier shadows we saw obviously looked radically different. They were much gaudier and some would say unflattering in the case of Hyodor and Alice. Which kind of implies that some of them may not have had high self-esteem. But Kanoe is so sure of himself and his own goals that his shadow looks basically the exact same as his real self. A warm welcome to the terrorists who toy with others' hearts in the name of their self-righteous justice. The infamous Phantom Thief. You know, if you call anybody you don't like terrorists, that word's gonna lose all meaning. As if you've any right to talk. You who repeatedly takes control of whomever you please. And you even tried to pass us off as a bunch of killers. You're the real bad guy here. Huh. It would appear you haven't realized just how similar we are. Oh no, it's the we're not so different you and I speech. What? We're one and the same. We both detest this rotten society and struggle day after day to combat it. I just noticed his very hammy hand gestures there, but um, at, at least this is actually a rare case of not so different that I actually do think works on some level. With our power to change hearts, we strive to incite change among the masses. Because Kanoe is very much what could happen if the Phantom Thieves went too far with their powers. Not to the extent of the Yaldabaoth bad ending in the original game, but more if they genuinely, like, because Kanoe does genuinely care about reforming society, it's just that, you know, he's doing this. Don't kid yourself. There's no way you're the same as us. We all know about your past. It must have been terrible for you, but still, what you're doing now makes you no better than a common criminal. I change hearts in order to exterminate the evils of this world. Are we not essentially the same? I'm simply introducing a system to keep things in order. And by creating monarchs, I'm ensuring everything plays out according to plan. What are you talking about? When the cognitive world revealed itself to me, I took it as an act of divine revelation. It was my birthright to change this godforsaken planet. With the cognitive world in my grasp, I could wipe all evil from the face of the earth. I would not waste such an incredible gift. But in order to see that dream realized, I needed a world that could be controlled. Controlled? What do you mean? I needed a world that would allow me to erase even the slightest traces of evil from people's subconscious minds. To that end, I required something that could reach everyone and bring them to submission. Yes, it seems AI was the solution to that problem. <laughs> yep, social commentary here, definitely massive social commentary. Thus, the next step was to acquire Emma and have it learn more about cognitive science at the research lab in Okinawa. Yeah, we, we, we taught an AI cognitive science. That was a thing that happened. It kind of reminds me of a lot of these stories about AIs that spontaneously start spouting weird religious stuff out of nowhere, and it's because that they're trained on Bible passages, because the Bible is one of the most translated works of literature in the world, um, so it, there's a lot of easy access to it in different languages. But yeah, I've, I've heard of that happening, and it's, it's pretty surreal. The end results were the jails created by Emma. Unique cognitive worlds in which no heart, no matter how cold, Resisting change. Saying Emma made the jails? So that's why the jails were left standing even after we defeated the monarchs. The jails aren't perfect, mind you. A jail's area of effect only covers roughly one city. Peculiar has such a phenomenal power, has such a limited range. In order to change the hearts of all humanity, I needed nothing short of an army of monarchs. So I began gathering pawns. Powerless, lamenting puppets who felt as hopeless on this earth as I once did. And do you know what happens when you grant people like that the power to change hearts? They welcome their newfound power with open arms. 
The problem is they were exploiting it for selfish reasons. They weren't doing what you wanted at all. They weren't trying to remove evil from society. They were encouraging it. And by using Emma to guide them, keeping them under control is a menial task. With the monarchs I personally selected, I could change the hearts of the festering rabble who calls this rotten place home. With the monarchs at my command, I could change the heart of anyone who dares step out of mine. And now you've gone full Justice Lords. That was the end game. Operation Oraculi. But you phantom thieves had to show up to ruin everything. So when we started taking down your jails, you got scared that your plan would fail. That's why you used the police and turned Akane into a monarch. It was all an attempt to stop us. It's not too late. I can still erase these obstacles and start over. You're still so naive. But eventually, even you will come to understand. Fight all you want. The most you can do is change the hearts of a scant few. This thing here, though, I actually do think he makes an interesting point. Don't you see that my way is far more efficient? And the whole thing about efficiency, this is me overanalyzing things, but the fact that he's an AI, a tech CEO, it sort of makes sense that he'd be this focused on ideas of efficiency, like algorithms, optimizing things. Like, the fact that he thinks that he can optimize the evil out of humanity. So everything will be fine as long as you're the one making all the decisions? Who do you think you are? Some kind of god? You're just forcing your ideas on everyone else! In this case, that statement is extremely literal. What foolish logic. So when you change people's hearts, it's right. But when someone else does it, it's wrong. Well, I mean, there's a difference between going after very specific people who can't be taken down any other way and helping them see the error of their ways versus just robbing everybody on the planet of, like, free will and the ability to have any desires at all. I've built an entire infrastructure for changing hearts. What was impossible for you, I have made a reality. But again, that whole this language, infrastructure, like efficiency, all of this, it is very tech CEO language. As a hero, I will reign over the whole world with infallible justice. You used Akane for this ridiculous plan of yours? She was just an innocent girl. Everyone you've made a monarch had some form of trauma. But you treated them like tools, even toyed with their lives. And that's true too. You don't know the first thing about justice. Then do you believe you could have saved me? Huh? Let's say you had been around back then. Could you have saved me from my father? I had nowhere to run. I was just a scared, helpless child left to suffer by himself. Well, could you really have saved me? Even now. There are surely others being brought up in the same hell that I was. And yet you've done nothing to help them. Well, that's... So this is also interesting, and it's kind of true. The problem with the Phantom Thieves, and it, it is sort of an issue with like superhero fiction in general, they can only save people within their direct sphere of influence, or people they directly come across. However, there is one wider point to the Phantom Thieves that we're going to get into that is the counter to this argument. You only destroy the evils you just happen to come across, but you'll never save everyone. I also want to preemptively mention, some people are probably going to compare this guy to the third semester villain from Royal. Really, I do see them as a bit different. Their methods are quite similar about forcing a mass change of heart on humanity. Royal's third semester was about forcing positivity on humanity, whereas this is about removing negativity by force. Me? I have the power to change the entire world. No one will ever have to suffer as I did ever again. And to do that, you need something beyond what the Phantom Thieves can offer. You need more than some childish heroic fantasy. But that's not justice. All you're doing is brainwashing everyone. You're taking away their freedom, who they are. And what's the difference? Both of us change the hearts of others against their will. So how am I any different from you? <sighs> Don't you understand? What? 
for you? Changing someone's heart means imprisoning them. But for the Phantom Thieves, it means setting them free. You may steal desires like them, but the Phantom Thieves give people hope. Maybe you don't realize it, but I think, deep down, you know you're nothing like them. Mm. It seems there's little point in discussing this further. Sophia's speech there is incredible as well, and I like that it comes from her, and it comes with no prompting. That is what she's learned just by spending all this time with the real Phantom Thieves. If we can't reach an understanding, then only one side can remain. It's time to decide which of us truly walks the path of justice. There aren't any real heroes left. So, why not make our own? The world needs someone willing to fight for its people's justice. A hero to lead them, to unify them. A hero like me! <laughs> We've got a remix of Rivers in the Desert. And a mech! I am the enforcer of righteousness, the hero who will purge the wicked from every corner of the globe. Prepare yourselves, Phantom Thieves, and watch as I shatter your illusory sense of justice with my own two hands! Oh, come on! You've got a mech! So yeah, um, they're about to make Rivers in the Desert even better. Uh, where's my Ma Tarakaja? That would be on Queen Mab. Probably have to immediately uh, use an SP heal, but we've got plenty of those. I like I said nuclear attacks are going. I'm gonna take that as a, a Thunderbirds reference. But yeah, we want real guns in the arena. Makes this fight even better. Overheated. overheated, just like our gear mode. Now's our chance. Shoot him down. I was just about to do that. Let's fire. Okay, now that right there is probably going to be a little incomprehensible to people who haven't played uh, the original Persona 5. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, obviously a reference. Uh, I like how she's bringing that back. I haven't forgotten that plot detail. Now, it can be inflicted with shock. It's not that likely, but it can be. And if it's inflicted with shock, then nuclear will damage will do even more. Oh, 
You do have to remember the missiles that are incoming. Um, you can dodge, like, the lasers by jumping on the platforms, but the missiles will still chase you. I believe they used the same dialogue earlier, but... Yeah. This fight does go a little bit, uh... I think it can be a little tough in speedruns, so like I said, it's not, uh, vulnerable to Dizzy. That looks like a homing missile! Be careful, Ryuji! I'm sorry. Now, this right here, I find this attack actually quite easy to get a, do to get a dodge encounter on. It's pretty easily telegraphed. Now, in this case, let's go Makoto and uh, let's use uh, some just punching of mechs. Ow! Okay. Well, all let's just immediately get taken down. Um, but yeah, that prominence thing just makes me think of Pyra's prominence revolt! But okay, now let's punch a mech in the face, hopefully. Or let's switch over a new skull showtime. Or we iframe through it. Oh, that looks really cool. Oh, nope, that killed me last time. There we go, that was a dodge there. That was a dodge, good. Okay, here we go, yeah, using Makoto's nuke gun here. In fact, this might even finish it off. Taken down with a wheelie. We're not done yet, though. So we gotta put him down one last time. Come on, Phantom Thieves. Let's end this. Oh, there's so many good shots I could potentially use for the thumbnail. I'm not even sure which I'm going to use. A hero must stand his ground. You must not let evil overcome you. He may be our enemy. But you've got to admire his determination. Mech or not, really taking it up a notch. Watch your back, guys. What is all this? Is that drop from the robot? Hey, Jack! Hitting those with enough force will cause them to explode. Explodes, huh? Maybe we can use that to our advantage. Oh, I probably could have dodged that. But yeah, you don't actually get healed between phases, so it's a good idea to have as many SP recovery items as possible. Because you'll need all the SP on, um... Uh, on your, uh, Alec and Nuke users. Go Master Kukaja. Can I get a Maraku Kaja? I don't think I can. But yeah, he's a little tricky to dodge now. He's much faster. Yeah, good thing that you can cancel McConnell's motorbike. Also, this song is amazing. It's called Counter Strike. And normally this would be where I show the lyrics of it. I'm not going to do that, because let's just say this song is not about this fight. This song is going to play at a different point in the game, and that is the fight the song is actually about. So, uh, giving the lyrics now will be a bit of a spoiler. Yes, you! 
Yes, that's a possibility, but... So, Kanoe, we've seen... We've seen villains with this kind of motivation before. The kind of, like, I will get strong enough and I will change the world so that what happened to me doesn't happen to anyone else. Like, basically, that's both Edelgard and Rhea in Fire Emblem Three Houses. It's also the Justice Lords from uh, the Justice League cartoon, which I haven't actually seen, but I've seen a lot of trope talks on it. The basic idea is that, like, um... The counterpart to Batman basically says, like, says, like... And in in essentially becoming dictators, we've created a world where no one will ever lose their parents to a punk with a gun. Uh, and Batman has no counter-argument to that at all. So, he's kind of a cliche type of character, but to me, what makes him stand out, he's not my favourite character in this whole series, but what does make him stand out for me, um, um, is the contrast between him and the Phantom Thieves, and also his very tech CEO style of language. Yeah, this, this reminds me of a Kingdom Hearts boss fight, honestly, this battle. It's, it's a really cool fight. In fact, I would like to keep a safe file from this fight just so I can replay it. Because the mech phase is great too. Like, like this is, like, honestly, I feel like the Shido fight... Okay, hang on a second. Yeah, that's a big me Mega Dolor explosion. Um, but yeah, like, honestly, I, I always had kind of issues with the Shido fight. It was never really particularly, like, that great to me. This, I feel, is what it should have been. I don't know if it's the fact that this game is, like, an action game that makes it more hype, but there's just something about the way this fight works that just... I, it's hard for me to describe, but, but to me, this is how you do, like, a, um, a kind of, um... What, what you call, I mean, I suppose you would call Akira in TV Tropes terms the dragon or the heavy. The guy who's not really the main villain, spoilers, but he is like the biggest threat and the most prominent one in the plot for most of the game. Plus, it is also cool how they, how they hit you with the Revers in the Desert remix, and then just when you're least expecting it, it's like, no, no, that's not his real boss theme. His real boss theme is a totally new song to Strikers. And I, I, okay, so I probably should let Wolf get the final blow here. It's just that he doesn't have weakness on this guy, which is the problem. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, this is, a, this is an amazing song though. This might be... Oh, there's so many good Lin songs, but this is probably in my top three. Oh, that, the beam disappeared right as I dodged it. <laughs> so I guess you're saying even without wings you can still fly. That's, uh... You're quoting, like, the lamest Sonic line. That's, that's uh, not really good for the Hero of Justice. Uh, okay, at this point, I think I'm actually going to go ahead and go uh, Zenkichi time. I suppose I can use this as well. Okay, okay, hang on a second. Oh, they're probably gonna finish him though. I, I was I was wondering if I could actually finish it with Zenkichi Showtime. That would be amazing. But I don't think I have any Showtime items. So in that case, I will Zenkichi follow up. And Zenkichi Revolvers! Never bring a sword to a gunfight, I guess. Oh, and we end on the lyrics, time to be your own hero. Perfect. Uh, he only gets a Lek Boost, not a Lek Amp. Yes, I only really... Mm. I don't need this now that I have Mataru Kaja, I feel. Uh, this could actually be useful. I don't really need that now that I have Mataru Kaja. 
And there we go, we have Final Guard now. That probably would have, would have been more useful during that fight, but I'll take it now. Oh, and of course, that would have been really useful during that fight. But yeah, of course, we get Enduring Soul now, too. Again, Zenkichi is the only Persona party member that is not a protagonist who ever learns this, which is cool. Let's... Uh... Guess I can get rid of Super Kaja. I won't be needing any of these buffs once I get Heat Riser. Of the word are one in the same. No. Dude, even we don't know what justice really is. And we don't mean to say that what we're doing is always right either. But we're definitely not just gonna sit back while you tell everyone what to do. It's true, there are days when I wish to immerse myself in my work. And days when I'd rather be wandering around town. There are also days when I wish simply to spend time with those close to me. To throw all of that away and do only what the person in front of you says. Why, at that point, you're nothing but a slave to fate. All you're doing is taking away people's rights to choose for themselves and denying them their freedom. When it comes down to it, it's no different from what your father did to you. Trampling upon the one thing that makes us human. That's the very evil you claim to hate. Are you saying I'm the evil one? We choose the roads we take. We don't let anyone tie us down. And we do so because we want to walk our own paths our own way. But if I fall here, then what will become of the world? There are no heroes. I'm the only one who can save it. Are you sure? I've seen the monarchs and the people whose hearts you've changed. They didn't look happy at all. I don't think you saved anyone doing what you did. <sighs> you know, Kanoe, the world is full of evil. And there's plenty of scum out there who seem well beyond redemption. But there are some, like the Phantom Thieves, who refuse to give up. And there are people out there who, thanks to these guys, finally got the courage to crawl their way out of the darkest depths of hell. People who managed to awaken the hero inside themselves. I like to think all the confidants in the original game were an example of this. Isn't that how we'll make this world a better place? <sighs> what you're trying to do will just erase those heroes. Some before they even get their chance. Can anybody really know peace if they're forced to be stuck that way all the time? I'd be erasing the heroes. Kanoe, it's not the people who need saving. If anyone needs it, it's you. Huh? Ever since you killed your father all those years ago, all you've ever done is run away, rotten as he was, having to live with the pain of killing your own flesh and blood, knowing that you could be caught at any moment. You were alone. And getting stronger was the only way you could protect yourself. I... You're right. I... I killed my father. And I lied to escape the punishment. I called it justice, hoping that there'd never come a day when I had to face the truth. But what I did back then was just evil. Then you know what you need to do, Kanoe. The hero you keep inside needs to save you from that evil. The hero I keep inside... I have to save myself. <laughs> I see now. It's been right there with me, all along. Very well. I admit defeat. I'll confess my crimes, and accept my punishment. Whatever it may be. I'll destroy Emma as well. You have my word. Phantom Thieves. If it's possible, I only ask that you please prove to the world that I was defeated by the real heroes of this story. Ones with a true sense of justice. Thank you. That's our 
Q. Let's get out of here, guys. Because that's the thing, the Phantom Thieves' whole point is not changing hearts of rotten adults, quote-unquote. It's giving, it's inspiring people to stand up for themselves and, like they said, be heroes. Close one. With that, I'll have to say that um, like the only thing I don't like about that scene is 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 him saying that what he did to his father was evil because I feel like not a lot of people would agree with that considering it was probably self defense. But apart from that, like I do get what Zenkichi is saying about the fact that he he's 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 hidden the fact that he did that his whole life and he's been running from that and that must really be eating at him. And that's sort of why he he has that birdcage. Even though he thinks he's in control, he's just like the other monarchs. He's trapped within his own trauma. Oh, but we did it. Now we just have to wait and see. We certainly learned a lot. Emma, Noe's big plan. Noe said he taught cognitive science to Emma in order to create jails. Shutting down Emma should mean the jails will finally disappear. So our names are probably in the clear too, right? Well, that depends on Kanoe's confession, but I'm thinking it'll probably work out that way. <laughs> hmm? What's so funny? <laughs> Nothing. It's just those things you said back there. It was nice to hear you talk about us that way. Agreed, though, in all honesty. I can't say I thought all of what Kanoe said was wrong. However, your words reminded me of precisely why we do this, Senkichi. That's one of the big reasons why we started the Phantom Thieves in the first place. To give courage to people. And that was always Arn's reason for joining. We remember that all the way back. So it's just a great callback to that there. Yeah, that speech was top, Senkichi. Gotta give you props for that one. <laughs> Any more of this, and I'd say you were proud of me. Anyway, we've done what we set out to do. So, in the meantime... Yeah! Osaka Feast Round 2 coming at ya! And let's get our butts in gear! I'm talking deep fried skewers, pork buns, okonomiyaki! Oh man, what else? We've done nothing but eat since we got to Osaka. Eh, you're young. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Today's on me. Get whatever you want. Woohoo! Gramps got a heart of gold! And literal gold. Leave the search to me. I'll find us whatever you guys want. I'm surprised nobody is praising Sophia for her speech there, though, because I still think that was amazing. And our tour guide's coming in clutch. Sheesh, don't get too carried away, guys. We've got big changes on the horizon, you know? Osaka has a lot of top-tier sushi vendors, too. Sushi? What are we waiting for? Not so fast. Let us not forget the blowfish and crab hot pots. Comments clarify that yes, blow, blowfish is indeed deadly poisonous if not prepared correctly. It's apparently got internal organs that if they rupture, they just spill poison everywhere. Hot pot again? Eh, whatever. Still down. Uh, hey, take it easy, you guys. So, um, the fact that we just unlocked a new Bond skill should probably tell you that the game isn't over. <laughs> I love it when games do that. I am Akira Kanoe, founder and CEO of Medis. On behalf of the company, I have an announcement of grave importance. Recently, I stated my company had been targeted by the Phantom Thieves in an attempt to discredit our company. I now admit that this was a total fabrication, with no truth to it whatsoever. I, Akira Kanoe, am the true culprit. I devised a plan to accuse the Phantom Thieves of a terrorist plot so I could conceal my own heinous crimes. Specifically, so I could abuse Emma and gain control of people's hearts. I publicly admit the virtual assistant app, Emma, contains a function that allows me to manipulate other people using specific language 
I could change their hearts and make them do as I wished. Yes, this process is essentially brainwashing, and I have scores of evidence proving it works. The change of heart epidemic that has plagued this nation is entirely my own doing. By controlling people's hearts, I was able to make them do my bidding across the entire country, including horrific crimes. This includes the death of Shuzo Ubukata, the head researcher of our Okinawa research facility. Instead of taking responsibility for my actions, I shifted the blame onto the Phantom Thieves. I must also confess, these are not my own crimes. Over 20 years ago, I claimed that my father was killed during a home invasion, when the one who really killed him was me. I took my father's life, then I attempted to frame others for my crime, so I could avoid any repercussions. These are the crimes I confess to you all. As of today, I will be stepping down as CEO of Medis and turning myself in to the police. Emma will be shut down. The AI will be wiped from the servers. All these terrible things were done for nothing but my own selfish desires. So now I must do the right thing and bring myself to justice. Yeah, I gotta say, great performance by the voice actor there, not to draw you out of the experience. Also, um, him being like eight years old when he killed his father and that happening around 20-ish years ago, that means that this guy is like only in his late 20s? Controlling people's hearts? Is that real? Wait, Emma? Like, the app Emma? And I'm sure this actually brings to mind a whole lot of real-life concerns about certain popular apps out there. Oh shit, better delete that. Anoe, son! I thought you were a hero to this country! I knew it. I knew the Phantom Thieves were really the good guys. <laughs> nice try there. Does suck that the public turned on them again for a bit, but most of the people who did were, you know, again, like, they had their designs stolen by Akira. You know, we probably shouldn't all be in one big group celebrating the exoneration of the Phantom Thieves loudly. Come back win for the Phantom Thieves. All our wins are comeback wins, though. We brought down the mastermind. Looks like the case is finally closed. Once we confirm Emma's no longer running, our work will be done. Yep. Once that's done, everything's up to the police and the courts. In fact, I'll head over and pick him up now. Good luck. I hope it goes well for you. Yep. Well, off I go. He's gonna come back, right? Now, what should the rest of us do? We'll probably hear all about it tomorrow. At that point, I suppose we should- Get back to Tokyo. So we're finally nearing the end of our journey. Yes, nearing the end. Not the actual end, just nearing it. Say we wrap it up with a round of sightseeing. It looks like Osaka has plenty to check out. Ooh, sounds good here. So, once the jails disappear, the trip will be over. Yeah, this has felt way shorter than I really thought, but yeah, Strikers is actually not a super long game, at least compared to the original. Do you remember the deal we made? I joined the Phantom Thieves, and in return, I learned about the heart. I've experienced so much on this journey, and learned all sorts of feelings. But, I still don't truly understand the heart. All this time, I've had the same query. What is the difference between you all and Kanoe? He was trying to help people, wasn't he? And the Phantom Thieves do the same thing. However... Everyone instead argues that Kanoe was wrong. What exactly was wrong? So, there's a few things here. I personally don't like to chalk all of this up to, like, you know, 
Oh, uh, oh, they just did this because they didn't have friends. Because I don't think that's always true. I feel like this is the most accurate to how I feel. It's more like his methods, I guess. So it was the strength of his heart. The Phantom Thieves lived their lives following their beliefs. But Kanoe and his monarchs, they couldn't do that. The Phantom Thieves must have strong hearts to live as they do. When our journey ends, I won't be able to help you anymore. And our deal will be finished. The thing is, phrasing it like that, it's, it doesn't mean that people, uh, you know, can't gain strong hearts. Because I don't think anybody really starts with one. I think everyone has the potential. If the jails disappear, I won't be able to learn about myself anymore. What should I do? If I had a strong heart like the Phantom Thieves, maybe then I could choose my own path. Now oh, hang on there, Sophia. I think you got the wrong idea. Dramatic camera pan to Morgana. Just because we're going back to Tokyo, that doesn't mean your deal's up, right? Really? Does this mean we're going to permanently adopt her? We're going to be bringing a cat, a new cat, and uh, a girl who lives in our phone back home? You think I'm kidding? The jails may go away, but we've still learned a whole lot on this trip. And there's got to be some evidence about your past here in the real world. So, how's about we all go looking for it together? Oh, you too. Oh, come on now, don't get me going too. We're all friends here. Feel free to hang out in this guy's phone as long as you like. In fact, we'd welcome the company. Thank you. Yo, what's the holdup, guys? <laughs> Whoops. Looks like we're being slow pokes. Let's get going. Mr. Kanoe, what is going on? Everything you said. Was that true? Please, settle down. I'm sure Mr. Kanoe had his reasons for... <sighs> it's fine. I admit, I've made so much trouble for you. Uh, I'm entirely to blame. I'm on my way to turn myself into the police now. I apologize for leaving the company in such a state. Mr. Kanoe, allow us to spare you the drive. Excuse me, who are... We're the police. Akira Kanoe, you are under arrest. I'll spare you the list of charges. How great it is to return a favor, Akira Kanoe. And you are? The last monarch you installed was my only daughter. Uh. You toyed with and ruined countless lives, and now it'll be for nothing. You even used an innocent, grieving child for your own benefit. You're taking responsibility for what you've done. Uh, I'm so sorry. I was so desperate. I, I disregarded something so important. Free will. I was on the verge of stamping out what makes us truly human. I haven't turned out any different from my own father. On your feet. We'll hear it all at the station. All about the connection between Iwata and the top brass on our force. There's nothing you can do to earn my forgiveness. But your confession can save the lives of a whole bunch of people. It's what you wanted, right? Now's your time to be the hero. <gasps> It's all up to you. <laughs> of course, this guy isn't even important to get voice acting. Perhaps. No. Whoops! It looks like your main liaison was one of Kanoe's heart change people! And so he realized that he was completely screwed. And it was delicious.
Hmm. In that case. Yep, everyone who put their socks in Matisse is going to be uh, kind of screwed now. But yes, now that that's all done, we don't have any new requests. Um, oh, except we finished Elegant Experiment, so I may as well turn that one in. And with that, I will see you all next time for the aftermath of this arc.